Hey guys, Chesapeake here. So I gotta do a little review on my new Chill Gorilla Hex Tarp. It is 142 inch ridge line and 108 inches wide. It's 210D ripstop nylon, polyester coated, and is a pretty big tarp. Here's some close ups here. It came with stuff sack, sack for the gut for the stakes and guy lines, and it came with six 10 or 12 foot just regular nylon polyester guy lines. But I kind of changed it up a little bit and I added zing it and BCD or um, line lock threes on a little shot cord loop there. But it came with uh, the BCDs here on all four corners. So as you can see, it's it's a really nice tarp. There's no loose seams. It's finished really, really well. I mean, there's absolutely nothing at all wrong with it anywhere. You know, it's all the stitching is nice. Um, like I said, it's got BCDs on all the corners and the tie outs. The ridge line has got a nice tech, is secured really well. I've got it on my uh, Dutch continuous ridge line here. And you can see inside, it's just super huge. I mean, 142 inch ridge line is, it's, you know, it's almost 12 feet long. It's got the big Chill Gorilla logo here, which I, I, I really don't like. It kind of makes it look cheap, but at $40, I'm not going to complain. I needed another tarp for a camping trip I have coming up. And uh, in case my wife wanted to actually try hammock camp inside to get another tarp. So she could use my tarp of doors and I decided to go with this one since it was only $40 and I heard some other people really like it so I figured I'd give it a shot and so far I'm impressed you know right out of the bag as it comes you know it's got the BCDs on the corner it's finished it's got you know grow green on all on the perimeter it's seam sealed um, you know and just adding the the zingit guy lines and the line lock threes just really finish it off, make it kind of pop, I think. Um, the stakes that it comes with are really nice. They're aluminum stakes. They have a reflective loop here tied on the end, reflective, just regular, you know, line. It's got reflective tracers in it. And they have their logo on there. Pretty light. And then uh, I just tied loops on. But I do think I'm going to do some splicing and splice some loops to really make it look nice. But for now, these um, just tie loops are fine. And uh, like I said, it's just guide out. I don't even have it, the lines all the way out. And it's almost all the way in porch mode now. You know? Don't mind the tree there. I had to do a little chainsaw work. Oops. To get rid of some spiders. Um... So yeah, this is the Chill Gorilla Hex Tarp. Got it off Amazon. It's $39.99. And um, it's just a big tarp. And I'm, I'm very, very surprised at the quality. I mean, I was I'm, I was pretty sure I was going to get a good quality tarp, but I was surprised at the quality that I got. You know, I wasn't expecting all this. Just how it's finished, the attention to detail. You know, all the seams are just really well, well made. I'm just very, very surprised at the quality of this tarp. It's 1.4 pounds, so, you know, it's not a Cuban fiber tarp by any means, but, you know, I don't do a lot of long distance backpacking. So, you know, it's great for what I need it for, I'll tell you that. And it'll fit my XLC, you know, with room to spare. Lots of room to spare. So, this is the Chill Gorilla Tarp. You know, if you guys are looking for something that's, you know, if you're new to hammocking or, you know, you just need a, a good hex tarp for the summer, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good quality gear. You just gotta, you know, look for the right stuff. Don't buy the first crappy tarp you see on Amazon and think you're gonna get something nice. You know, this is made overseas. 
So, I, you know, I was a little hesitant, but, you know, the, the company Chill Gorilla is, is founded by United States, a former U.S. Marine, and um, the other products that I have of theirs, it, they've been high quality, and from what I can tell, he, re he really prides you know, himself in having, you know, good quality, and anybody that's had any problems, from what I can tell, has, you know, they've gotten taken care of really well. So... You know, like I said, they are made overseas, but it's a U.S. company, you know, that's run by a vet. So, you know, you're helping out the cause there if you go with one of their products. It's not just a cheapy, crappy tarp that you're going to get, like the 5,000 5, other ones that you can get on Amazon. Um, it's actually decent quality. It's, it's really, really nice. I'm just very happy with the $40 I spent on this tarp. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's not, uh, it, it's not a, uh, you know, a D-Nut, uh, Cuban Fiber Tarp, or it's not, uh, a, a Cottage Vendor Tarp, but it's pretty darn close, I'll tell you that. It's about as close as you can get. And, uh, you know, it's the real deal. It's, it's not just a ch cheap, crappy Amazon Tarp. You know, it's inexpensive, but it's not cheap. And I think there needs to be, you know, those two words need to be, separated when you're talking about gear because there is inexpensive gear like this and then there's cheap gear like a lot of the other tarps you'll find on amazon and i'm sure you know a lot of the guys and, and not guys just people you know that have been hammocking for a long time have a closet full of tarps that you know you went through when you started out and just really didn't hold up so you know it's the end of spring almost almost summer now and we'll see how this thing holds up this summer but I'm thinking that it's going to do really well. You know, it's got, you know, it's it's really wide, so it's going to block all the wind coming off of the water. And um, it's going to give me a really nice porch mode if I need it. You know, it'd be nice if there was uh, panel pools, but hey, for $40, I'm, I'm not going to complain. You know, like I said, with, with the length of the guyats I have on there, it's almost in porch mode now. And I'd be able to get it really really tight in storm mode also so give you a close up of the material here it's listed as a tan recon sand tan but it's kind of got like a, a greenish tint to it which I like you know it goes with my gear my olive olive dark olive and black theme like I said I really don't like the big logo but hey I'll take it for 40 bucks and then the stuff sacks are made of the same same material. They kind of have like a goldish, almost a golden tint to them. But it's kind of green also. It's a real nice color. And this is just kind of printed on there. So it'll, it'll come off if I scrape it probably enough. But, uh, and then the line, like I said, they're just real cheap. You know, they, they come with tensioners, but, you know, I don't, I don't really need them. And then, uh, like I said, I, I added the... Uh, out of the line locks to zing it and then a little little shot reflector shot core loop just to give it some give because I do get a lot of wind down here even though it won't stretch because you know it's it's not still nylon but um, I just like to have a little bit of give because I do get a lot of high wind so with that said you know I'll cut this one short um, you know the chill gorilla 12 foot hex tarp I definitely give it a look if uh, you're looking for an inexpensive not cheap tarp and uh, you don't mind, you know, pound and a half. But uh, with a couple dollars, you know, with a couple inexpensive upgrades, you know, you can, you can have a really quality tarp for $50, $60, you know. And even right out of the bag, it, it's, it's, it would have been fine to use. I did, one last thing I did put on, as I did for now, I've got my um, Xenon, my hammock here, Xenon. Uh, snake skin there from my old man winter but you know it, it's for just a regular 11 foot tarp so it's a little bit short but for now it'll work fine so maybe I'll chill gorilla has their own snake skins maybe I'll give those a look too but so this weekend I've got a camping trip uh, that I'll I'm gonna take this and see how it does but I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty good so That's Chesapeake.
on a beautiful, beautiful spring afternoon. Checking out my new Chill Gorilla Hex Start. Any questions, give me, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. See you later, guys.